Hey, what's good, Shakari? YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Jamal back with another video. Alright, y'all. So as y'all can see, I am currently in the emitter getting ready to show you all my face washing, clearing, whatever routine. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. The first product that I use is Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. Um, this is what I use when I'm just trying to clean my face in general, when I'm trying to get rid of scratches and bumps and breakouts that I might notice in my face. This is my go-to product. All right, y'all, so the next product that I use is Witch Hazel. This is another go-to that I use when I'm trying to just clear up um, scratches or bumps or just any type of minor breakouts that I have on my face. Witch Hazel is the product that I go to to just really clear that all up. All right, y'all, so the last product that I'm going to be showing you guys is African Shea Butter. Um, it is 100% natural. Um, you can get this at your local hair store. You can get it at Walmart or Target. Um, I think I paid like five bucks for this little tube. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I wash my hands. Um, you want to always make sure you wash your hand before you begin to wash your face with whatever product that you use just so you won't, you know, get any dirt or whatever um, back on your face whenever you're getting ready to clean it. All right, so now I am just um, rinsing my face with some warm water just so I can open up my pores. Um, sometimes I'll use a rag and just lay the rag on my face to open up my pores or sometimes I'll just... Uh, put some warm water on my hands and just rub it on my face to just really open up my pores. So now I'm just showing you guys how much of the product that I use, the Dr. Bronner's. Like I said, a little goes a long way. Um, and if you're going to be using this product, make sure you dilute it with water. So just take a little bit of water in a rag and take a couple drops of it drops of it and just you know massage it in the rag and then you'll be ready to go all right so once i wash my face one time with it i just rinse my face off with warm water and then i do it all over again you can do it as many times as you want to, just until you feel um, that your face is clean enough. Oh, something that I didn't show you guys. Um, so I use these little um, cotton pads. Um, this is what I use when I'm using my witch hazel to really um, clean up the rest of that dirt or whatever that's in my face. Um, like I said, I use witch hazel to get rid of all my minor scratches and you know dark marks and whatever it is on my face that I'm just trying to get rid of. All right, y'all, so the last product that I'm using is the African Shea Butter. Um, this is what I'll put on my face after I let my witch hazel dry on my face. Um, so if I'm cleaning my face like in the afternoon, I'll let the African Shea Butter sit on my face for about, mm, for about two or three hours and I'll just wash my face off all over again. 
Um, but if I'm washing it at nighttime, then I'll just um, sleep with it on and then just wash it off in the morning. All right, y'all, and that's it. And your boy is getting ready for bed. Um, so another product that I left out is I use oils um, throughout the day when I don't have any product on my face. I just use some oils just to keep it hydrated and just to keep it soft. So, yeah. Okay, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video um, can be used as a helpful resource when you are cleaning your face. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out some of my old content, check out some of my new content. And yeah, your boyfriend to go to bed. So I'm out.